Good morning. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting there is on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Go stand in front of This is art. This is you will hear a buzzer. You will hear a buzzer when you stare at the art. Stare at the art. You should now feel mentally now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art, suspect staring at art has not intellectual sustenance, intellectual sustenance on this classical music. On this classical music. Good. Now please return. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. Good morning. In suspension. You have been in suspension for nine, nine, nine. You look um, good, looking good actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay, it's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? I've got enough space. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, so no, I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. OK, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Whoa. Good luck. Hello. 
And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments.
If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilizations, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, 